New tonight, all of Boone County is one vote away from having a police officer in every one of its public schools when students return in August. This comes now just over one month after the shooting at Noblesville West Middle School that injured a 13-year-old girl and also her teacher. Tonight, our Rich Van Wyke shows us the very personal reason that one leader there was so compelled to take action now. Today, Sheriff Mike Nielsen confided in me that his two grandchildren were inside that Noblesville school when the shooting started. His plan to increase the security around Boone County schools quickly jumped to a fast track. Thorntown Elementary shared its one police resource officer with two other schools. Danielle Schubert is the parent of two eighth graders. Is this something you've worried about? Yes, as a parent, yes. You always worry about what's going to happen when your kid's at school. A fear heightened by the school shooting in Noblesville that nearly took the lives of a teacher and a student. Sheriff Mike Nielsen. Having my two grandkids in that school during that shooting, I knew at that point that we had to do something here. Uh, we are extremely vulnerable in this county. Nielsen's million dollar plan will give each school in the Western Boone and Zinesville school districts their own full time officer. And I think that the school can, you know, use an extra, you know, enforcement when kids are getting older and experimenting a lot more with guns or drugs. The schools, the county, and the communities of Zionsville and Whitestown are paying the bills. In Lebanon, three officers divide their time and attention among six city schools. The mayor proposes giving them $300,000 to hire more police. This is the amenity we want to have. This is something that we can you know, tell our parents that you know, when your kid's at school, they know they're safe because they're going to have a, a school resource officer in every school. Things going better for you? Resource officers are police officers specially trained to work in schools. They patrol hallways, gain students' trust, and listen for trouble. We have to create relationships early on with police officers. By doing that, we may be able to stop some of these things before they happen. Lebanon City Council is expected to vote on the proposal early next month. Sheriff Nielsen expected county approval. He's already been interviewing and preparing officers to be in the schools when they open in August. In Boone County, Rich Van Wyke, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. And the push to increase school security here comes as a similar effort begins in Florida following the Parkland school shooting. The Broward County School Board just voted today to join a state program requiring a resource officer or armed guard in every school. And they also fired two security monitors who are on campus during February's attack.